What's up, Scorpio? Bohemia's back with Bohemian Stars and Ocean Heart. A little third person there. I am up late, baby sleeping. I was on hiatus because I had a baby, so now I will be doing videos with her in the background giggling around slash when she's napping. So we are going to do a video here for your end of March wrap up going into April and see what energies you are carrying. I will be using the Game of Thrones tarot here and I will also be drawing from a deck I made myself, a collage deck here, the, um, uh, I forgot my own deck name, the, um, Wild Starfire Oracle. I promise it's more memorable when you see it. Um, <laughs> woo, late night videos. Okay, so here we go. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Scorpio. I'm going to shuffle it around a bit. I do shuffle in between videos extensively, especially with this wonderful linen finish on this deck. All right. Sun, Moon, Rising, Scorpios. The end of March, going into April. What do we need to know for Sun, Moon, Rising, Scorpios? End of March, going into April. Already a fourth of the way through the year. Sun, Moon, Rising, Scorpios. And there we go. All right. Bam seeing a lot of ace of uh, coins popping up in these readings which is great because we're here in spring just had the equinox in the time of aries another martial time which uh harkens to your ancient uh ruler scorpio of mars that you share with aries so there should be an affinity here with aries season and this would be the regenerative side of scorpio so we have the ace of coins here and in this one it is the coin of bravos that aria goes to learn how to master death basically which is also a scorpion theme so we see you having the opportunity to go and to learn and trade and reach um like the knowledge and the tools that you need to build your life the way you want all right let's see what else is going on here we have the hermit Queen of Cups reversed, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords reversed, The Fool, The Devil reversed, who's shown up in a few readings, Two of Cups reversed. So let's stop there and take a look-see um, with your subconscious card being Queen of Coins. So you guys really are wanting to focus on your, your money. You're wanting to focus on your health, get yourself stable, um, really just sit in your own zone and not have to worry about this outside stuff so we see you getting tired of worrying about relationships here with the two of cups reversed and the queen of cups reversed some of you are really going to be feeling like no fucks given right now during this transit um, of Aries going in from March whatever you've been dealing with here in March into April you're really carrying this feeling that you are done like you're just done you know, when it comes to, they say, better the devil you know than the one you don't. You're not trying to mess with any of them. You're done with it. Although you're having a hard time letting it go, there's a bit of bitterness and a little bit of a, a vengeful traitor, and you're carrying that Scorpio. So some of y'all really carrying the burdens of wanting to get back at somebody or feeling that stab in the back and you can't shake it. For some of you, it's almost like a physical feeling. You can feel that betrayal just on you, and it's, it's heavy. It's very heavy. But then we have you wanting to start over and get rid of this kind of shadow in the past. If you look, you see that dragon there with the fool trying to get through. Now, some of you are feeling like you've been dealing with this so long that you're a fool to try to leave the situation. You're a fool to try to think you can have the finances, the resources, whatever you need, that you can be wise and finally move on. Some of you aren't believing that. And you kind of have to remember who you are, Scorpio. Right? So Queen of Cups is sensitive, but Scorpio is one of the most powerful signs in the tarot, one of the, the, the strongest, you regenerate, you know, the, all of this death stuff, all of this um, transformation, that's, you know, it's what you guys do. So believing in yourself a little more here, because I do see this heartbreak, I do see for some of you, if you've been wondering, am I going to get out of this abusive relationship? Am I finally going to do it? Am I finally going to leave this person and, and move forward and just let go of this pain? I definitely am seeing that here, that you are ready to do so, even if that means moving forward in a solitary way, and that you will have the resources to do so. All right. I do see at least a ch one child coming with as well here. Okay. So we have the five of swords reversed, the four of swords reversed, the five of cups, the hangman reversed, the world reversed. So you know what? You guys are straight up 
dealing with someone really trying to block you from move, moving forward. So those of you who are in abusive relationships, you're dealing with somebody who is a mind fuck. They're emotionally manipulative. You know, they, they claim, oh, you need to see things from my point of view. But really what they're doing is they're stalling your evolution. They're stalling you from having true compassion and empathy by getting you stuck on how they see the world. And it's showing that their view of the world that they're telling you is bullshit right now. Um, they're, they're just keeping you stagnant and hoping that you don't come out of it and have clarity. And so this is where you're blind, but you're really starting to see. You're really starting to see because you have the hermit um, on the first draw, showing that you have wisdom. You're starting to learn the wisdom of what you've been through. Now, the Five of Swords says this person's going to try to apologize, but you already know what it is. You already know because the Four of Swords is them getting right back at it. And what are they getting back to? They're getting back to bringing you grief. They're getting back to leaving you here. And this is a card of Scorpio. Um, you know, grieving and sad over more shit that they've done. Um, and other signs I'm seeing, I'm seeing Earth signs. This person could be an air sign, a water sign, or what I'm seeing so far pretty much every sign there is the ten of wands for the fire um so really really allowing yourself to get back to kind of psychoanalyzing the situation see scorpios you do that but then once you're further into a relationship you stop doing that because you care about this person so much and because you would you know that you would have to push them away for their behaviors that they're doing but it's saying now that you really need to get back to seeing things in that clear perspective here and, and have that kind of detachment enough that you, not where you're shutting down and you're just letting things happen, but the detachment where you will allow yourself to see what this person's really doing and make clear-cut decisions um, moving forward. See, Nine of Pentacles, it's like you've tried to leave, I think some of you, but then you get sad with the Ten of Cups reversed and you want to go back to this person because you're sad about the family dynamics, you're sad about the community energy and feeling left out. And so that just takes away all of your passion and energy. It even makes you stop being angry, the, the thought of going out on your own for a prolonged time. Okay, Eight of Swords reversed, the High Priestess and the eight of um, wands. It's almost like you, you have these talks with yourself where you really hype yourself up. You might even listen to certain music. You might even sage your house. Like you really psych yourself into getting into this mind frame where you're like, I'm not afraid. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to leave. I don't care if I have to, you know, here is like someone camping and just going, you know, I don't care if I have to hitch a caravan. I'm going to do this. And then, you know, there's this going back because, but wait, that's security. It's the only home I know. I don't really know who else to date, that kind of thing. All right. So some of you I'm feeling are really, if you're in a domestic situation that has become violent and is very abusive and it can be anything from physical, I'm seeing emotional and mental as well. This card is the one of someone coming to aid you and help to take you to another place. And like it, it will be some distance from where you are. So you do have that aid there. Ace of Cups, you know, really being able to find that connection with somebody. Um, because here we have the Seven of Swords and we see that behind the scenes, things that happen and go on, things that aren't okay in the home. So, um, and for some of you, it's just accepting that the person that you're with is going to have these shady tendencies. Now, if you are on the side that you are doing these things, there's really the need here for to stop evading professional help, to listen to what the people who have loved you and have suffered through these relationships have told you, and for you to remove yourself away from the situation, not in a manipulative way, not in a way that's making the other person beg for you and dependent on you, but to truly move yourself away, especially those of you who are doing a lot of these abusive tactics to cover up alcoholism or some kind of drug abuse. Um, you know, Take your moments of clarity and truly pull yourself away from the situation and get yourself right. And see if you even, you know, think that you can return back to the relationships of what you've caused. So some of you are really needing to look at that and get on a sobriety uh, kick. All right. Okay. I'm going to, that's a little heavy. So let's see if there's a few more cards before we pull the oracle. So, oh, sun, moon, rising. There we go. All right, there you are, Scorpio, the death card. 
right? And this is Arya, who is the girl has no name, right? She can take any face and become any person for any situation to get the truer justice, the karmic balance and justice. And so right now you might have to put on a different face in order to greet and go through the things that you need to transform through, but that's okay. It's not kind of like that fake it till you make it, you know, pump yourself up with affirmations that reminds you to love yourself before you even really are like rekindled with yourself and feel it to get where you need to be you know speak yourself up know that you can transform and change and if it feels like going through the motions as long as it's the most like healthy motions and you know that this is healthy motions that you're doing then go with it until you become you know that person again that feels it and lives it um Five of Spears, which is the Five of Wands, you guys are really addressing and connecting to um, defending yourself and starting to stand up for yourself and not just let yourself be ran over anymore um, and not allowing there to be competition. We have the Empress Reverse. So some of you might finally snap. Actually, this is literally reminding me of that show Snapped, although I haven't watched it. I've heard of it. So if you feel like you're going to get to that point or you're waiting for it and you think like, that's the dynamic that you guys like in your relationship, you know, really um, look into that and see if that is what you want to do. But for some of you, especially those who are feminine, um, identifying, I can see really reaching your limit. Those of you who are in these toxic relationships and maybe just kind of losing it. Now, take in consideration your children when it's here with the Empress, okay? You're not going to want them to suffer. You're not going to want them to... Uh, be left behind or you have a moment of anger and it just happens to be caught on camera or with this crowd here where everyone's fighting but you're the one who's the mother so you're the one who's going to be held responsible so really um you know f f pick and choose your battles and how you go about handling them okay yeah because there is a, a child in concern and this will be a very sensitive child but this child is quickly becoming more jaded and this child is learning to grow up a little too fast and seeing things that they aren't see. So it's it's time to bring that balance in and realize that you have the free will to make these decisions as much as it seems that you don't. Okay. Oh, that's heavy. That's probably going to be a very specific reading for um, select few uh, people here. But if you feel like it will be helpful, please go ahead and, you know, tag and share and subscribe it, probably privately to those people that can have help from that. All right, so we're going to do an oracle, oracle card for Sun, Moon, Rising, Scorpio. There's one. We'll see if another one wants to come out for the end of March through April. We have this. We're having a lot of repeat cards. So we have butterfly here. And there is no birth that is not bloody. And I don't think that this is speaking of staying in any violence. It's saying that pain of leaving it, of transitioning, right? Of becoming that fool, of doing that hermit's walk away, that nine of pentacles, um, removing yourself from the situation. It's painful. And it is, you know, butterflies, we're, we have this uh, phrase, social butterflies. But butterflies actually go through that process alone. That's absolutely alone. Um, scientists don't even know exactly what's going in there because it's impossible to try to view it or open the cocoon without killing the butterfly. It is your personal process. And so just be aware that, you know, there's a loneliness that might exist there, but it's a strength because it's just there's certain things that even others who have gone through um, certain, you know, domestic violence or or the struggles that you're going through, feeling that, that you don't have a home unless you are bound to certain conditions and things and you're trying to escape that. Um, some of you going without jobs, I can see, and, and really needing to find stable employment but not being able to find it where you are respected and honored. Um, this is saying that you still have your own unique self within that and there's a part of you that can feel so solitary because it's so unique. And when you remember that and you fight for that part, it's gonna help you bloom and transform all the quicker. All right, and this card, I knew it was going to be these two cards, man, have been coming up. Um, this is the back card. I am dark passion. I am the darkness. This is not dark in a negative way. I don't see dark um, as evil at all. Dark energy, dark matter is the creative force of the universe. This is the moon and asteroids here and that which works through communication, through sonar, you know, sight in a different way. So follow that deep, 
dark meaning hidden and wise Scorpio intuition that you have and don't let anyone shake you from it even yourself feel it out send out that those intuition vibes and when they come back wonky then don't run into them anymore really follow that that path that um, is coming from your true self that is constantly being created from within yourself all right intense as it ought to be with the Scorpio reading. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And uh, let me know how things resonate with you below and what's going on as much as you can, my private Scorpios. And go ahead and stick around and view the other videos that I post, your sun, moon, and rising. And I will talk to you soon.